सो हेलो एवरी वन गुड आफ्टरनून और मे बी गुड इवनिंग सो मैन इज अमित एंड आई एम हियर टू प्रेजेंट एनसीबल वॉल टू सिक्योर अ पासवर्ड और एस एस एच कीज और इफ यू हैव एनी थिंग सीक्रेट विच यू डोंट वॉन्ट टू पब्लिकली अवेलेबल वेन यू यूज द गेट और एनी एस वी एन रिलेटेड स्टॉप फ्यू थिंग्स अबाउट मी आई एम सीनियर सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियर एट रिडार्ट and i'm also member of foreman community so if you want to discuss anything about foreman and civil open scap or something like that then i'm available at foreman booth and we can have good discussion over there also apart from that uh, low power lifting and i'm beginner level power power lifter so maybe this year could be i would put on more mass and muscle i hope so so this is my first uh, visit to belgium and first post name first country management i hope uh, it goes really well with me and i come next year again to present something exciting yeah so uh, this is the last talk of, uh, of the day so that's why i don't want to waste a lot of your time because uh, we also want to have the beer and drinks <laughs> so how many of you uh, does not know ansible at all means never never ever touch the ansible okay no one else okay okay so i'm not going to go through all of these slides like control node manage node and what all things are there and i'm directly <laughs> going to jump on the ansible vault stuff yeah so this i start oops have you ever done this no yeah i have tried to yeah because uh, i have seen like uh, huge bills of amazon like 10000 dollars or something like that because of uh, having the secret keys on github which were publicly accessible and the thing was that account was not monitored uh, correctly and just at the end of the month we got the huge bill there so uh, it all about how you can secure the stuff using ansible vault it's not that much fancy and complicated the ansible vault feature comes with the ansible itself uh, so you don't need to uh, do anything extra or it is not like you are going to install a extra package for that so it's uh, basically aes 256 encryption so i don't see any other option uh, like uh, change the encryption or something like that with ansible vault when you encrypt the file you get the header like this ansible vault then vault format versioning i can see there are two vault for format versioning now which are available 1.1 and 1.2 i'm sorry but i don't know the difference between this yeah uh, i'm moving next slide yes so encryption it's uh, very simple you uh, get the ansible vault create and the file name the create command only works for the new file creation if you want to have the encryption for existing files in that case you need to use the encrypt command instead of create command else it will fail uh, many times uh, what happens when we encrypt the file we tend to decrypt that one like uh, uh to see the content or modify the content so instead of that we can actually do the edit so it won't save your file in the plain text format in your present working directory so that is the last command to view the file in read only mode you can use the view command so anyone has the laptop now if you want to try it out then you can try it out now the next is uh, variable encryption uh so with variable encryption either you can pass the variable name with its value and you will get something like this like uh, db password and uh, uh, then its value so you can copy paste this in your playbook and you can use it the next thing is if you want to don't want to save your secret this string in bash history in that case what you are going to do is 
read it from command line or std in the second one command, that one. So it will prompt you for the std in and you can just type in and it will give you the encrypted, uh, encrypted string like this. Yes, so I am still talk talking about the variable encryption. With Ansible, you can have the variables in separate file. So it is not a lot of variable encryption, but I am still saying it is a file encryption here because you are saying saving your all of your variables in a file and you are going to encrypt that file. And in Ansible playbook, you are going to put this file as your variables file and get the variable from this file instead of directly using the value. Yeah, so uh, here the note is like if you just want to edit the file, do not decrypt the file because it will save your file in plain text and means it is like <laughs> maybe you will have uh, your passwords or whatever, whatever encrypted data saved there. It is available in public Git repository if mistakenly you push that in Git repo. Yes, so now uh, you encrypted the variables, you encrypted the files. How you can use that in playbook? The first one we already discussed that is you mentioned the variable name and the exclamation with vault and encrypted string. I had a uh, hard time to uh, understand the first one because I just tried to copy paste it in my playbook, but it did not work. I need to actually uh, use the task label variables. I need to separately copy it and then paste it. So I will show, show that to you in demonstration how I am doing that. The next one is, yes, so likewise you use the uh, vault db password and playbook you can add it in your playbook the another way now uh, you got the variables encrypted you got the files encrypted the next thing is how you are going to pass the password so very basic thing is uh, you are going to use ask vault pass uh, that option but it is not going to help you when you do the automation because each and every time you uh, your script should not be waiting for the password to execute completely you can use the vault password files and uh, there are multiple ways to do that you can either save the password in uh, separate file and pass it like vault password file or it is also possible to provide the same parameter in ansible.cfg Yeah, so that is again the one more problem. So if you are keeping that file in your Git repository, then yeah, so there is no use of Ansible Vault. Yes. Yeah, and uh, there is one more option that is uh, Vault Identity List. So in that case, uh, it is possible to label the vault files, password files using uh, ID and at the time of encryption or decryption, you can use the ID instead of the password file directly or the path of password file. There is one more way uh, like environment variables. So we have that uh, default vault password file variable where you can uh, export that as a, uh, in a bash variable and give it a uh, give it a parameter of your or take it as a parameter of your password file. Yeah, so here also I was a uh, little bit confused because I, I was having my identity list and I tried to rekey the file and it did not prompt me for existing password and I was like why means <laughs> if this is going to happen then anyone can change the password of my file and they can use it. But that is not the case. So 
uh, it is going to ask you for the existing password, decrypt the file and after that encrypt it again. Yeah, so you all already know the use cases here. So this is nothing new to you, maybe. And yes, uh, the de demo. Okay, I start with uh, simple file encryption, ansible files, ansible word create. Uh, can you see uh, the error? Uh, the so it is saying that the vault IDs, test password, and old are already available. So the thing is, if I even pass this one. It will, uh, it will, sorry, I think this is not. Uh, yeah. So I don't like this behavior, but I'm not sure if this is bug or what. Can you see that? So I'm passing the password uh, using ask uh, vault password, and it is also accepting the password. But at the end, it is saying that uh, no, you have some vault ID is already present and it is not actually working on my password. So if I comment this out now, so now this is going to work. So I actually, yeah, so means I expect that if I explicitly say take the password from my side now, it should work instead of failing at the end. Sorry? Which one? Session test, okay. Yeah. And it works, uh, okay, so what I will do, I will again uncomment this one. And it works here, but not at the time of creation. So I'm not sure if this is the bug of Ansible or what. Okay. Okay, so I'm just touching a new file, new session test, and uh, so create is not going to work with this one. I'm just <coughs> yeah, so if you want to encrypt this one, then you need to use the encrypt one, and still I'm getting the same issue. Yeah, but uh, what I expect is if I provide this one. Yeah, it should it should go right there. Yeah, because else it should stop before accepting the password itself. Yeah. Yeah, it fails. And it works. Okay, so we encrypted the password. Now, uh, how we can encrypt the string? Vault. Encrypt string. So if I just do this one, it also works. Yeah. Yeah. So you can. You can actually copy this one to your playbook, and it should uh, it should help you. And with this one, you also have the option. I'm not sure how much useful it is, but you can provide the name of that variable, and it will just append that variable name before this one. Yeah. 
Yeah, so that yeah. So yeah, the confusing part for me was this one. Uh, yeah, so here uh, uh, if I directly copy paste this string uh, to this variable it does not work it uh, it error error out with uh, json and that's why i need to have the separate variable uh, encapsulate that and then provide it there so that's the problem i'm facing i think it should work but i'm not sure uh, okay yeah, so I I also show you the Reiki thing. Uh, we had that Ansible vault. Yeah, so this is successful. Uh, what I will do? Chat. Uh, just a minute. Uh, we are in Jiggle dot CFG. Okay, so if I so this way I was getting confused. If I have the identity list already in Ansible.cfg, it is going to ask me the new vault password directly. I was like, why it is not asking for the existing password? And it works. Yeah, so it, it reads the password from this list. Yeah, so it, it will it will go sequentially each and every. Uh, uh, yeah, vault ID label, and if anything matches there, it will stop and decrypt the file. Yeah. Yeah. So that's sort of uh, from my side. Do you have any questions? Yeah, so I I'm not aware about uh, if you have any centralized key management or something like this for this one. And I think you need need to have uh, access to those files if you are going to save the passwords specifically in files. And I'm not sure if you have any centralized management for that. Yes. Yes. So what? Uh, so I'm just second one. Okay. Pass dot new. So this is the password here. Okay. Ansible vault. So you mean encrypt or create? Any anything to create uh, number three. Vault ID. Uh, it was. Uh, what was the ID? I the password. And to decrypt that one, yeah. Uh, edit. Yeah, it, it was. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, 
Ini look up lagi ini. No. Any more questions? Yeah. Okay, so you are saying that uh, it does not work with uh, the files and it works with the variables all the time. Yeah, so I am already having that file like this one. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, so uh, sorry, it's, yeah, it's out of scope for me. Yeah, any more questions? Yeah, so what I understand from that is uh, either way, so you can have the list of files which uh, which can have the password. But the identity list is like, uh, if you don't want to use that full path name, maybe file path name at the time of encryption. And suppose you are having 10 files and you specifically want to get the file encrypted or variable encrypted using uh, one of that file. So it is easier to remember the vault IDs instead of using the full path or yeah, that file. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah, and one more thing is, yeah, and yes, yeah, and yes, and important thing is uh, it also adds uh, that vault ID in the encrypted file. So suppose you are having around uh, 100 password files, and it is going to go sequentially to look for the password. Instead of that, if you have the vault ID in your file. It will be easier for Ansible to find out which file it should be using. Yeah. Yeah, any more questions? Yeah. Uh, sorry, I am unable to uh, unable to hear you properly. I am unable to get you. So this is sort of compli complicated thing because uh, yes, you need to provide the password file, but I'm not sure means. Uh, okay. Does that answer your question? Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you.
Thank you.